guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a requested video. You guys have been seeing me talk about the different Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes and I think I showed this in my September October haul and most of you were like, oh my gosh, when are you gonna do a look with the Jackie Aina palette? So I have a basket, literally, I shit you not, in my makeup room of palettes that I need to film videos with and when I was sitting down today to film, I was like, which palette should I use? And I was like, I need to use the Jackie Aina palette. So thank you guys so much for leaving me comments like that because it really truly helps me decide what content to show you guys. So please never, ever, ever, ever feel shy to just leave me a comment and let me know what palette you would like to see me use. So before I show you guys how I created this look today, I do wanna go ahead and swatch this palette because I don't think I did swatch this palette. I don't think I did a swatch party. I can't remember you guys, to be very honest with you. Um, I don't know what's going on. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So here are the first four shades. We have Soleil, Soleil? I don't know guys, um, Super Me, Pinker and a big wig. So these are all beautiful shades. That first shade is like a beautiful golden champagne color and the other three shades are beautiful mattes. They do feel a little bit dry but I did use all three of these mattes in my crease so you will see those in action soon here. Okay here are the next four. We have Dwalas, Credit, Lituation and Zam, Zam. I think these are like very iconic things that Jackie Aina says. I haven't really watched her channel in a long, long time, so I may be saying these wrong, but I do apologize. So these are the next shades, and here is the next four shades. These are so gorgeous. This red shade called Wigglies is all over my lid today, and then I was debating between Wigglies and Shookington for my lid, and then Trust Issues is in my inner corner, as well as in my brow bone, and then the shade Edges I haven't used, but you know, that's like my go-to neutral matte when I'm putting something in my crease. That's the kind of color I reach for. So here are those swatches. So gorgeous. And then the last two shades are Sponsored and Ginger. Sponsored is so beautiful. It's like a beautiful green, like a blue-brown shade. Look at that. And then it shifts like purple, like a grungy purple. So, and then Ginger is like a muted Again, another great crease color for tan skin. Not muted, I don't know why I said muted, but here are all the swatches of the ABH Jackie Ina palette. I'll give you guys a second to take a look and see. The shimmers are bam pigmented and I like the mattes. Like I said, they definitely did feel a little dry to the touch. I did have a little bit of trouble with this purple shade, but overall it's nothing. I don't think it's gonna be a deal breaker that it's a little difficult to blend. I still feel like the overall look was a knockout. So without further blabbering, let's get into how I created this eye look. Hey guys, so today I'm playing with the Jackie Aina palette. It's so funny because I did so many videos with other Anastasia palettes. And even though this is like the one that came out the first go around, um, so many of you kept saying and commenting like, we'd love to see you play with it, we'd love to see you play with it. So I've worn this like maybe two times off of YouTube and I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. It's like this holo iridescent faux leather deal. And I don't necessarily know if I was going to pick this up. Like I wasn't like crazy about it, but I kind of collect ABH palettes. <laughs> And so I wanted to keep my collection going, which like now I don't know that that makes a whole lot of sense considering how many more palettes have come out, but I have bought pretty much everything they've come out with um, the last couple of months and I'm okay with it. I did pick up the new little palette. I picked up one of them, the green one, so excited for that. I kind of want to do something different. My brain is telling me to go with the browns, but I kind of want to do like these shades. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with the shade Supreme in the crease and just blend that. So yeah, like I was saying, I picked up the mini Norvina. I picked up the more green palette. I don't know if those are just called mini pro pigment palettes, but 
I wasn't gonna get it and then in the Sephora sale it kind of piqued my interest mostly because there's like a beautiful green matte shade in there so I was like why not um, I like the formula of the traditional ABH palettes over the Norvina ones the bigger palettes that I did that swatch comparison video I don't love that formula I did an eye look with it on my Instagram like stories because I usually like do makeup looks in the morning for work so I do like my makeup every day for work and I usually show those looks on Instagram stories and so I did a look one day and I really liked it and then the second day I tried to use the Pro Pigment Volume 2 palette and I didn't love that look so I haven't really been reaching for those palettes I like that they did something different and I know a lot of people are very comfortable with pigment palettes like eyeshadow pigment palettes but I'm not really one of those people which kind of is what makes me nervous for the new melt launch as well because those are pigments too not eyeshadows so always makes me a little nervous next I'm gonna go into the shade um, pinker which is like a burgundy shade and I'm just gonna use the same brush and this I'm gonna concentrate on the outer half of my crease so I'm doing something really exciting this week depending on when this video goes up it might have already happened um, but my husband is a huge fan of the show Queer Eye if you guys haven't seen it it's on Netflix it's like a spin-off of a show from was it in the 2000s? I used to watch it when I was in college I want to say and it's called Queer Eye on the Straight Guy it was like a MTV show and basically these guys usually they're gay guys give straight men makeovers and it was a pretty good show back in the day as well um, but Netflix rebooted it and I've been watching it and then Rail really enjoyed it when he watched it so he's a big fan of the Fab Five and I don't know how we found out but Jonathan Venice is gonna be in Minneapolis which is about a four hour drive from where we live and Rail being the fan he is um, bought his ticket so we're gonna be going to his show in Minnesota which I'm kind of excited for I don't really know what to expect um, but yeah you guys will have to let me know if you guys are fans of the show so I don't feel like that shade pinker really blended very well it's kind of weird actually because I can see most of the shade is like on the up and lower part of my lid and didn't really go in the crease which is kind of strange I wonder if I should try a different brush I maybe shall try the small tapered blending brush this is from Sigma I've been trying to use this to clean my brushes with um, as I film tutorials because or whatever we want to call this because it's easier than using the cinema secrets brush cleaner um, but yeah, I don't think that color did what I wanted it to do. Anyway, I'm going into the shade Big Wig, which is like a matte purple shade. And I'm just going to concentrate that as well in the outer half. Ooh, the other thing that happened this week that was really fun this weekend um, was me and Rail um, caught the World Rugby cup finals that was really fun um, if you guys don't know what rugby is you might want to look it up <laughs> because I'm not the one to explain the rules because half the time I don't really know what's happening but it's a very popular sport where the two of us are from so it's definitely one of those things that's like really great for us because it's like a cultural thing it's something that we both grew up with and so it kind of like brings us together and um, even though we live in kind of a more of a smaller town in Fargo. Um, Rail's dad lives here, his best friend lives here, so there's a big enough group of South Africans, so we woke up at like 4 a.m. because it was in Japan, the match was, and we were able to watch it, and South Africa played England, and South Africa actually beat England. Um, I'm gonna go into the shade Credit with that same Sigma brush and put that in the outer corner as well. So yeah, South Africa beat England, which was really, really cool, obviously. Um, they were one of the better teams, I think, in this World Cup, South Africa was, um, but they hadn't won 
a World Cup in a while, so it was really fun for my husband and I think it was just like a really proud moment for South Africans all over the world. So it was really, really cool that we were able to do that um, together. And it just kind of, you know, brings people together. And I think it's really hard to explain playing a sport on the world kind of level um, to people sometimes because I feel like in a sense, like when it comes to sports, America, it's like more like states play each other and so like people are really loyal to like their football teams and things like that um, whereas for me and rail and I'm sure a lot of other expats from other parts of the world it's very exciting when we get to see our teams play each other like each country like I don't know I hope I'm making sense but probably not so I'm gonna go into the shade trust issues which is like a pretty shimmer and I'm just gonna throw that in the brow bone it's kind of like a really pretty goldy shadow and it doesn't really have much of a base um, but it's just throwing a little sparkle in my brows I need to get my brows done so bad you guys but I feel like I can't find a good brow girl in Fargo and I'm so scared to get them done because like every time I get them done I feel like I'm losing more brow hairs and I used to have such a great shape in my brows and now I feel like they look like long lost cousins and not so much like sisters which kind of bothers me but anyway what can you do wow I have so many lid options I kind of wow this shade um wiggly wiggly is so pretty it's red do I want to do do I want to do that on the lid I was thinking of doing shookington because it's a pretty purple I feel like I've done so many purple looks this is so hard. I'm going to do um, Wigglies just to try it out and see what I end up thinking of it. I've been really enjoying this Sonia G Builder Pro Brush 2-Pack-On um, Eyeshadow. I really wanted to buy another one of these during the Beautylish gift card event. Um, but I just couldn't do it. I didn't want to spend the money. And I was like, Karen, you can't. It's like a 30 or 20 something dollar brush. Like... And so I, I kind of passed on it, but I love the Sonia G and Wayne Goss brush sets I have. So I think either next year I'll pick up some more, or if I see like some other sweet deal, I might pick some of these up. So we'll see if you guys are ever wondering if they're worth it. I definitely think so. I mean, I know there's like affordable brushes that you can do obviously you can do your eyeshadow with anything i just really enjoy how the brushes are such unique shapes and they really help me with applying my eyeshadow so i just packed that on i didn't even use any um water or sorry i didn't use anything to wet my brush to foil this because i like to test it out without foiling um first to see what the pigmentation is like and that's the thing I love about Anastasia shadows is like they're one of the first brands to make like shimmery shadows that were like hella pigmented and you didn't really need to wet your brush they kind of went on really nice and smooth so I really do like that about them wow this red is so vibrant there's a red in the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette that I'm also really like dying to do an eye look with so I'm hoping that, you know, that could be one of my future looks with that palette. So I kind of want to go back into trust issues and use that as, ooh, that's pretty. Use it as kind of like an eyeshadow topper um, because it's got some beautiful gold shimmer. So I'm just adding that on top of the lid as well um, just to kind of give it a little, a little, you know, a little sum sum. So I like how that turned out. So now I'm just going to clean under my eyes and I will do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so obviously this is what the final look turned out like. I just smoked out my lower lash line and I used the ColourPop eyeliner pencil in the red shade um, that came out in one of their collections recently. I really, really have been enjoying. It's not this one. This is the one that came out with the Bye Bye Birdie, but it's the one that's the red. So I've really been enjoying those, but overall, I really like this eye look. I think it is almost like a great 
you know, nighttime glam look, but I think you can definitely do some great everyday looks with this palette. I remember when I first got my first Anastasia palettes, I think my first one was their collab with Dress Your Face. It was like that red palette. It was like my everyday palette. Like I had hit pan on a lot of those neutral shades. So if you are just an everyday consumer, not somebody that's on YouTube, or not somebody that necessarily has hundreds and hundreds of palettes, I can definitely see this being a great like everyday palette for you, but also like a great holiday palette because you can play with some of these fun colors and try different looks and create something new for yourself as well. So overall, it's another great palette from Anastasia. I will try and remember to link my Carly Bible palette um, eyeshadow look that I created as well as the swatches I did with the Norvina Pro palettes. I had also mentioned in the talking portion that I did get one of the new mini Norvina palettes so look forward to a look with that suit as well. Don't forget guys, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye!